It's the final episode of A Thousand Ways to Die, baby. Let's go! This is, a, this is the last episode. <laughs> Welcome to the finale of A Thousand Ways to Die. <laughs> a Thousand Ways to Die, a show that premiered on the now disbanded Spike TV where actors recreated some of the most insane, gruesome, and perverted <gasps> deaths ever recorded. Over the past two and a half years, I've been making videos reacting to some of the craziest deaths that this show has to offer. And even though this series is my most popular by far and has let so many people find this channel, all good things have to come to an end. And so, again, welcome to the finale of A Thousand Ways to Die. Feel free to unsubscribe if you want. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you to everyone that has watched this series. I appreciate it a ton. I just want to focus on doing other stuff rather than continuing a series that I feel like I've gotten everything out of it. Um, but to celebrate the end of the series, I do want to do a little giveaway. Uh, I'm going to give away a $100 Amazon gift card. Hell yeah. So stick around to the end of the video to see how to enter. Never done a giveaway before, but... Why not? Seems like a good occasion. But today, we're gonna be watching not three, not four, but five of the most requested deaths of A Thousand Ways to Die. You're eating good for the finale, what can I say? You're welcome. I wish I could react to every single one you guys have suggested. I say having the full power to do so, but choosing not to. But I do think these five are perfect for the finale. So without further ado... Let's go! Sorry, sorry, I just wanted to do that effect one last time. Can you blame me? Did it look good? I don't know. Let's go! First episode we're gonna watch is called Boris Bititov. Bititov? Bititov? I, I don't know, is that Russian or something? What a crazy name that couldn't possibly allude to how he dies. <laughs> Since 1986, a nuclear power plant meltdown has made Chernobyl, Russia the number one hotspot in the world, as in radiation. All right, so this first one takes place in Chernobyl, which, surprising to hear, I didn't know anyone ever died there, but all right. The only people to be found there are soldiers, and the only soldiers stationed there are total screw-ups. Vladimir, Mikhail, and Sonia are the Russian version of F Troop, as in F'd up. Oh great, classic stereotype, Russians drinking entire bottles of vodka. You know, not all Russians drink vodka, alright? As an Irishman myself, I too know about harmful stereotypes, okay? Thousand Ways to Die, be better. <coughs> my ancestors... My ancestors would look down on shame. Things were getting hotter in the hot zone. <laughs> Sonia was liquored up and ready for action. But not with Mikhail. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still not over the fact that they're in Chernobyl right now, getting horned up. Does this much radiation pelting your body just make you horny? Next thing you know, he's gonna snap his dick like a glow stick and it's gonna light up. Yo, dude, check this out. Huh? Huh? Whoa, that's so cool, dude. Yeah, man, this this radiation stuff's pretty sick. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Here, wait, let me try. No, wait, dude, don't! <laughs> it was survival of the fittest. If Mikhail couldn't have Sonia, he'd have to fit it into something else. Nope. Nope. You know, oftentimes I'll see in the comments, you guys will be like, No, don't finish the series, keep watching! Why would you want to stop? And, d do you get it? Do you get it yet? I have very few brain cells left, and I'm watching this. I'm using those brain cells on this. Okay, let me play this one more time, and you at home, hold a mirror up to yourself, and ask yourself, Hmm, why am I watching this today? I could go outside. He'd have to fit it into something else. Hi, welcome to Pataclysm. If you're new here, that means there's still time. Run, get out of here, go, save yourself. I'm gonna hit play. A man who might consider bestiality 
would possibly already have those kinds of fantasies in a sober state of mind. I think we can all agree that even thinking about having sex with an animal is disgusting. The grossest thing ever. Like, I could maybe, maybe understand if he was talking about, like, a bunny or something. Maybe even a rabbit. Like, I can see that. Um, I know a guy that's actually attracted to a mouse, if you can believe it, but again, it's understandable. Um, foxes, I, come on, we've all seen a few sexy foxes in our days. Um, cows, cows can go on that list too, and <laughs> I don't think I need to explain to you why they're on that list. Uh, pufferfish, pufferfish is a big one. He's more likely to have less impulse control and to act upon those urges and desires. The drunken soldier ran off with his coon tang. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that last sketch was a bit, okay? It was all for the meme, I didn't mean any of that. Except for maybe one of them, but why? Why does this exist? Why? There's... Oh. And you know what the worst part about this is? This isn't even weird in Russia. This is actually how Russians procreate. Can you believe it? Every Russian is born from a man and a raccoon. It sounds like a crazy and offensive generalization of the Russian people, but it's true, man. Google it. <coughs> Why are raw potatoes so bad? Am I a pussy? I think I'm a pussy. The only potatoes I like are cut up and deep fried, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they are territorial. They have 40 very sharp teeth that they're going to use to protect themselves, and they are commonly known to bite. And bite, it did. In one vicious chomp, the private's parts wound up in the mouth of the raccoon. Oh god, okay, a few things. Uh, one, big shout out to 329 Big Fan for telling me not to watch this episode. Thanks for looking out for me. Two, a big fuck you to K or R blank for replying to him saying I should watch it. And three, what did you expect, dude? It is a raccoon. What did you think it would send you an edible arrangement to your doorstep with a note saying, what are we? <laughs> what did you think would happen? <laughs> It's not just the blood loss that kills you, but the other aspects of that trauma. And now I, being an empath, <laughs> I know, I know, hold your applause, because I care about people so much, I feel it in my dick. I'm gonna have to keep checking the rest of the episode, making sure my dick's still there. Yep, we're good. Arrhythmias, blood accumulating around the heart and squeezing the heart, so there are a number of different factors that result in death. Tearing off your penis may result in death. Oh, hard concept to grasp, that one. Hope it's not on the test. It's not nice to screw Mother Nature. She just might bite back. All right, so that one was Boris bit it off. Oh, I am so glad this is my last video. I regret all the choices that led me here. Next up is an episode called Bodily Harm, suggested by these lovely people. Unless it's another episode about a penis getting ripped off, in which case I hate you, go to hell, let's watch it. Alex was an electronics whiz kid who could have gone to any top college in the country. But he chose to stay at home and follow his twisted genius wherever it took him. <laughs> this dude is me, because I actually used to make battle bots like this as well. Only instead of actual robots, it was just Roman candles strapped to an RC car doing donuts in my cul-de-sac. What can I say? I guess I could have gone to any school I wanted as well. Harvard just wasn't ready for me. He spent most of his time breaking stuff and torturing his parents. Oh my god, I thought he was about to go in for the kill. Just, what an asshole. I love it. Where do I get one? He needed something more, like putting the brain of a robotic vacuum cleaner into his homemade destruction bot. That would be dangerous and wrong. Alex got to work. So, his master plan is to take a killing machine that he has full control over and replace its brain to be controlled by an AI. No, yeah, I see nothing wrong with that. Uh, y'all ever watch Terminator, or iRobot, or Age of Ultron, uh, or, The Matrix, Ex Machina, uh, Space Odyssey? Yeah, no, me neither. Never heard of them. Let's go, murder Roomba! 
We're not quite close enough for robots who think by themselves yet. Yeah, you can program a robot. <laughs> what the hell is that? What? What? Ah! God, dude, warn me next time. Jesus. A thousand ways to die, death 867. Patrick dies of a heart attack, getting scared by Satan's Ken doll over here. My God, I got shit in my pants. The final touch, he gave it eyes, motion sensors. Alex's robot won't be able to think for itself, but it will do his master's bidding. Destroy anything that moves. Again, why? You just said this man was a genius, but he just unleashed a chaotic death robot with no rhyme or reason or means to control it. <laughs> am, I, am I watching a Michael Reeves video right now? Am I watching a Michael Reeves video right now? Did, did Michael Reeves die? Hold on. Oh no, not Michael. A dropped screw awoke the sleeping monster, and before he could pull its plug, Alex's killer robot took its mess. Stop! Okay, it's at this point of the video where YouTube guidelines are gonna enforce me to tell you all that what you're about to see is fake. I know, I know, they didn't kill real people on this show, sorry to say. Those fingers right now about to be chopped up, they're just hot dogs. It's movie magic, everybody. And all this blood? Look, it's green now. We're at the Kids' Choice Awards. He just got slimed. Yay, we're having a good time. So now that you know that this is all fake, it's fiction, it's for entertainment, we're all having fun here. Yes, tear him apart! Took its master apart. Peace. Bye. Peace. Woo! Feed the masochist part of my brain that grew up watching too many horror movies! Let's go! Damn, dude. Human versus robot. Creation versus creator. When worlds collide, even. When worlds collide, you'll laugh so hard, you'll swear you die. Man, honestly, this is one of the goriest episodes on this show. Cut off his fingers, his ankle, cut right into his stomach. But I wonder how he died. A deep laceration from a spinning lawnmower blade cut deeply into the abdomen and actually can cut the artery, the aorta. A lawnmower blade to the stomach can kill you. Man, I am learning so much today. Dick still there? Dick still there. We're good. Next one is called I Swallow. It's, it's the title of the episode. I didn't say it. Okay, it's, it's called I Swallow. I'm not making a statement here, guys. Come on now. What people do in the privacy of their home is their own business. It's not right to judge, unless we're talking about Chester. Devin, come on in. He's an acrotomophiliac. I'm sorry, a what? A, an, an aquatico Cadillac? He's an acrotomophiliac. A Geronimo aphrodisiac? An acrotomophiliac. An oregano video react? What, what are you saying, Ron? You're spitting gobbledygook. No, again, I'm kidding. He's an acrotomophiliac. I know how to pronounce big words, thank you. Speaking of, a fun Patrick fact to anybody that cares, back in high school I actually did one act plays, and I did one where I had to play a guy that had a bunch of phobias, including hippopotamonstrosoquipedeliophobia, which is the fear of long words, ironic enough. So, I committed that to memory. I know big words. I'm a genius. I'm a goddamn genius. And yet here I am watching this brain rot, so things changed. I peaked, and here we are. Let's continue. Can I see it? He likes to have sex with amputees. Chester spent all his time online trying to hook up with amputees. Huh, did, did you think that I said let's continue? <laughs> Funny, you must have misheard me. I actually said, please God put me out of my misery. Funny how we just mishear things sometimes. So, uh, anyway, here's a gun. He hit the jackpot with Devin. Can I touch it? Yeah. A car accident took her arm, but Devin's loss was Chester's gain. Look, I am not in the business of kink shaming, unless your kink is to have sex with raccoons, but it would be weird if both parties weren't as enthusiastic about it as these guys. Insane. What you doing later, shorty? 
The acrotomophiliac is interested sexually in people who are amputated. There is actually stump worship. Many times they call it stump pumping. Stump pumping. There's no way. There's no way, dude. Stump pumping? Stumping? I no, th there totally is a way because we are a depraved species and literally everything exists online, but I'm going to refrain myself from googling this because in my time making this series, I have googled countless things that I regret. So I'm just going to take her word for it. Stumping? Cool? Sick? Let's continue. <laughs> losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. Let me just end this series, please. Oh, I wish there was something else missing. Well, today is your lucky day. But then she showed him a whole new hole to explore. <laughs> Looking at this is the worst thing I've ever seen. And if they're gonna do what they're implying, Listen, I'm just gonna stop thinking about it for now, okay? We're just gonna go back to making silly jokes. Um, ooh, I got one. I know he wanted some brain, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Chester was on fire. He banged his banged up beauty for hours. Damn, honestly? He put in that work. <laughs> I don't even know if I can be mad. I mean, it looks like he didn't use her eye hole in the way that I thought, so I'm happy about that. By the way, on a separate note, if Apple made a fleshlight, they would call it the eye hole. So, me and Tim Cook have something big in the works coming soon. That's all I gotta say. After cleaning up, Devin got the shock of a lifetime. Chester was dead. Wake up! Here's how it went down. He boned so hard and so long that he had a heart attack and died happy. A legend. A weird stump humping legend, but a legend nonetheless. When Devin popped her fake eye, she put it in a glass of water. Chester was thirsty. He took a drink and got a mouthful of eye candy. Man, choke. That's it? All right, I mean, it wouldn't be a thousand ways to die if there wasn't a crazy backstory with a boring ending. It was bound to happen. Okay. Chester looked death straight in the eye and then swallowed it whole. <laughs> eh, whatever. Boring ending, but at least it introduced me to stump humping. Thanks, I hate it. Let's see what Rookie Raceway has to say about this one. Eyes wallow come. I, eyes wallow come. I don't know. Is that is that Latin? Is my man speaking Latin now? Comment down below if you can read Latin and you can translate that. Next episode. This one is called Hijacked Off. And it actually wasn't on YouTube, so I had to buy it off of Amazon. So, I don't know. Maybe you're welcome. And the least you could do is smash that MFing like button. I don't know. Just a suggestion from this poor old man. Let's get into it. Percy's a speed freak looking to hijack a vehicle. A big rig would keep him high for months. Johnny is a Teamster trainee. I'm gonna help this man. Don't you dare stop this truck. Okay, okay, off to a good start. We have the smart one with the southern accent and the dumb one who sees this man and thinks he should be helped. They're also right next to what looks like a prison, so maybe don't stop for him? At this point, all he's missing is the Michael Myers mask, and even then this guy might stop and help him. I'm just saying, I know this is the guy that's gonna die, but this dude is just as dumb. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, let's mister. go right now. I don't want no just trouble. Dallas is a former female boxer. What in the hell is going on? And Percy shut learns up, the hard you way. Don't mess with this girl. She's a former boxer? I mean, all right, do your thing, but also he has a gun. I don't watch boxing, okay, but last I checked, your opponent doesn't have a gun, all right? Even though that would make boxing a lot more interesting. Her shove landed him right on the truck's air brake hose. Jesus, dude, this episode's moving so fast. He's already got an air hose up his ass. 
Y'all remember back in episode, I think it was part 5, when I did that whole montage strengthening my butt clenches? This is why I did that, so random hoses don't just go shooting up my ass randomly. My butthole is a fortress, ain't nothing getting in there. Unlike this guy, which... I'm sure we all know what's gonna happen. A Nickelodeon slime explosion, that's what, yay! Turning him into a giant flesh balloon. I think at this point, I'm just numb to it all. Man looked like one of those exploding whale carcasses. You know, how when whales die, the gas builds up in them until they explode. It's all right here in Exploding Whale Compilation 2017. I'm not gonna show it, but uh, I'm just letting you know it exists. 100 PSI or more caused rapid expansion in his abdomen. This intense pressure caused kind of like a bomb going off internally. If you get filled up with air and explode, you will die. I actually haven't been writing notes. Uh, this is actually a movie accurate drawing of the bunny that Scooby draws in Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. So, bunny. He never could get his life together. And now. Not gonna lie, this isn't me cutting it down. That death was just really fast. He got introduced, hosed up the ass, and dead. Short and sweet, but also very brutal. <laughs> uh, you know what? I really just need a nice episode to make up for all the horrible shit we've seen here today. He says, knowing full well what the next episode is. Now for this final episode, I think it's only fitting that we react to the final death on this show. Even though there was a whole season after it. Death number 1000, premature endings. What do we have here? Another candidate for a thousand ways to die story. A drunk driver. He won't live long with that steering wheel in his gut. Bro, how did that even happen? It's a steering wheel. It's soft and round and it got stabbed in you? That's like getting stabbed by a spoon. But even that seems more plausible. Good thing we're gonna get the whole story of how this happened. You know, every day around the world, approximately 150,000 people die. Never mind, we won't find out more about him, actually. Instead, we're gonna cut to a goddamn war zone out here. My god. Is this Normandy right now? Is this D-Day? It looks like that scene from Saving Private Ryan. Dear lord, these nurses are braver than our soldiers. If you're not a complete idiot, you won't wind up like this bunch of losers in this hospital ER room. And hold on, is, is that a tennis ball? Is a tennis ball lodged in her brain? Forget the steering wheel, how did that happen? It's, it's soft and squishy. Did Serena Williams do that? Is Serena Williams out for blood in the streets? We're all doomed. <laughs> this perv will die from a broken soda bottle lodged up his butt. Sick, sounds like a good time. This numbnut passed out drunk on his table saw and cut his own leg off. Sweet, sounds like something I would do. She fell off a ladder while holding a knife. As you do on ladders, she did nothing wrong. Uh, where are we going with this? A Thousand Ways to Die has a lot of fun mocking all the dumbasses who managed to die. I'm going blind, Mabel! In the most idiotic of circumstances. Wow, what is this? A look back on the series? We've actually reacted to a lot of these. Uh, we got Work of Fart, Titty Titty Bang Bang, Sumoed. Man. What a journey we've had. Maybe I shouldn't end the series. Nah. This woman, floating through the ER room, is oblivious to the hell around her. She's here to visit her father, who's dying. Oh man, it's, it's really coming to a close, ain't it? Am I gonna cry? I mean, historically, I am a little bitch, so I just might cry. Even last weekend, I was watching Bluey and bawling my eyes out like a baby, because I'm a little baby man, so <laughs> this might get me there. Jesus. He's led a long and rewarding life and was always there for his family and friends. His daughter is understandably sad. Are you okay? I'm fine. But she also knows it's his time to go. Ah, oh, I'm gonna shit. This is beautiful. What the hell? Sorry, I'll stop interrupting. I'll, I'll cut back to Ron Perlman, but this is so nice. All this time, 
A Thousand Ways to Die has been an instructional manual for how to live. Ah, oh my god, that was so wholesome. Wow, the final death on this show, and, and they actually make me want to cry. It's beautiful. I didn't think this show had it in it. Dying of old age. We love to see it. Not like love to see it. I'm not... I don't love watching an old man die, okay? I'm not I'm not seeking out hospice centers trying to trying to look at people dying, okay? I I, I don't love it, okay? What the fuck? You know, when I started this series, I didn't think much of it. I thought it was just going to be a one-off video and we would move on. But because of your support, the series has easily become the most popular videos on this channel, and I am incredibly thankful for everyone that joined me in watching one of the weirdest shows on television. And you know what? After that last death, Ron Perlman is right. This is a show about learning how to live. And here I am trying to kill that. Who am I to try to kill this show that everybody loves? This isn't the end, everybody. You know what? I'm saying it. A thousand ways to die every week. I'm gonna make more videos. More, more, more. A thousand ways to die. Come on, everybody. Let's watch every single episode of this nope. show. <sighs> That's the end of the series, everybody. I'm not coming back to it, and I really hope you liked it. If you liked these videos, I promise you'll like some of the others that I put out. Uh, the Scare Tactics video, the Life of Luxury reaction, those are some of my favorites, and all that's to come, so... Hope you stick around. And if you've come this far, like I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to do a little end of series giveaway. So if you want to win a $100 Amazon gift card, make sure you like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment below letting me know your favorite part of this series or any of the videos on this channel, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Then on December 31st, I'll respond to one of the comments letting them know they won and get your information through DMs on Twitter or Instagram or something. Just make sure it's me replying. I know YouTube has a problem with bots, so just click and make sure that it's me. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it a ton and Happy New Year. Bye.